my name is James Bellissimo, Berg Town Manager, and I'm here today to provide an update to a presentation I did about four years ago, and that presentation is on the BCM YouTube page if you'd like to view that. Um, so today I'm here to talk about growth and preservation. This data comes from the U.S. Census and also our assessing database. If you would like some of that raw data yourself, feel free to email me and happy to provide it. This first slide I have here shows the dwelling units built in Berwick from 2002 to 2022. So an overview of the past 20 years, and this includes single family units, assessor dwelling units, and multifamily units. Um, as you can see, um, from 2002 to about 2007 was very strong, and then we hit a housing recession. And it took quite a, quite a while for the housing economy to rebound. Um, in 2005, you can see the uh, dip in houses built, and that's when the town limited the house permits the 35 building permits for units in subdivisions and 35 units for permits not in subdivisions. So in 2005, there was a 70 total building permit cap. And then that was repealed after a year. And we do still have growth provisions in our land use ordinance, section 6.3.1. Um, and those have been successful to date. Uh, so you can see that from 2017 to 2022, over the past six years, it's been fairly steady with an average of 38 dwelling units per year. It's worth noting that while the building permits are at a historical average or even a low, population is cumulative. And I think that can be felt not only in our population, but our lot sizes. If you go back to our comprehensive plan from 30 years ago, the average lot size was about 10 acres. And now you're starting to see the average lot size is closer to probably the minimum lot size, two or three acres. Our population, based off the last estimate, is over 8,000 people, uh, right around 8,200. Uh, the last census had a, just under 8,000, and that was done in 20, uh, 2020. It's worth noting that uh, the census data is much more accurate. The data in between the, the census are projections. From 2002 to current day, uh, this chart shows the K through 12 student count from Berwick. Currently, uh, this data just came out. We have 1,291 students in the Noble school system. That, again, that's K through 12. And as I mentioned, with the housing recession, we had a decline, a slight decline in population and a, and a sharp, pretty sharp decline in student enrollment. So the 20 year low is 1,229 and the high in 2002 was 1,363 students. If you look at this chart here. In 1990, Berwick was one of the fastest growing communities. Uh, through the, from 1976 to 1989, there was an average of 56 houses built per year. And that does not even include multifamily units or assessor drilling units. This chart goes back all the way to 1850, and it shows population was very stable. Up until about the 1950s, you know, there's a slight increase, and you start seeing a very sharp increase towards the late 60s into the 70s and 80s. And if we had kept the same growth rate from the 80s and 70s heading into the 90s, our population would be over 9,000 at this point. 
Due to economic factors and some of the ordinance changes that was put in, we had some very forward thinking people that were involved uh, early on and we all should be very grateful for the efforts they put in. Um, as I mentioned, our population is just over 8,000. So that's a significant difference in the growth rate trajectory. Uh, as I mentioned with the student population, our current population from Berwick is 1,291. Overall in the MSAD 60 uh, K through 12 system, we have 2,935. And that is a low, it's the lowest population since 1988. Um, I have some data here from uh, Lebanon, North Berwick and Berwick from 1975. And then I don't have the data in between up until 2003. So that's why you see those dotted lines as trend lines. But you, you, we do have that Berwick data and that's why it's a solid line. Again, I'm happy to share this data if you'd like to see some of the raw data yourself. With population growth and percentages and some, we have actually some projections. Uh, the 2010s, we saw a percentage growth of 9%. I think with the edge and we are seeing some subdivisions, we probably can um, I think as a conservative uh, estimate that we could see a, a percentage increase of 11% in this decade. And that 11% would be 9,701. That's, that's actually by the end of the 2030s. You can see that by percentage, the 50s, the 70s, and the 80s were the largest sea changes in Berwick. And this is population projections from the state economist. So by 2038, we'll still be under 10,000 people population wise. You can see that Berwick is projected to have a pretty linear, um, you know, stable increase and in healthy. Uh, this chart shows some of the broader region. It's always helpful to see what our neighbors are doing. And also um, something to emphasize is why, why is the student count going down? And that's the household sizes. Berwick's average household size is 2.32. So most houses actually do not have a, uh, you know, a third person in it which would, in most cases, would be a kid. And you can see Berwick's age distribution compared to our region neighbors. So with each additional house and subdivision, it, it was that, it's that, always that push and pull between development and preservation of what we all value, that rural character, our open spaces and farmland. The town is really taking that seriously and are putting some serious efforts into preservation. We know a lot of Berwick is prime farmland or farmland of statewide importance. And it's proportionally much higher than the average main community. And there are things we can do to further protect our prime, prime farmland and farmland of statewide significance. Similarly, we have a lot of prime uh, forestry soils as well. That's also another important industry and an important land use. This is one of my favorite maps. It's a natural resource co-occurrence map. And what it is, is the darker the green, the more occurrences of uh, a natural resource. So for example, that prime farmland, that prime forestry soils, natural habitats, endangered species, large lots, open lots, open spaces. 
the darker the green, the more is happening in there. And this map shows large swaths of land. So there's a few pieces in Berwick that are well over a thousand acres that are contiguous undeveloped tracts of land. And quite a bit of land is already conserved. Uh, about 1,500 acres in Berwick is conserved. And with each building permit, the town collects open space impact fees. And with that, with those funds, we're going to strategically target these types of areas to make sure they are conserved. And we're doing this for the regional partnership. We're working with Southern Maine Planning Development Commission, Maine Farmland Trust, and the Great Works Regional Land Trust. Something we're working with SMPDC, Southern Maine Planning Development Commission, is on an open space plan. So this open space plan serves as a strategic guide for maintaining, enhancing, and managing existing open and natural spaces and for connecting open spaces together to identify conserved and not conserved open spaces, forest, riparian habitats, agricultural lands that are important to the residents of Berwick and provide a range of ecological and public services, including climate change resilience, public recreational areas, economic sustainability, rural aesthetic, cultural significance, habitat protection, and water quality. This open space plan will establish a town-wide uh, policies and actions for land conservation and preservation, guide and prioritize capital investments, and identify funding opportunities for conservation, including public-private partnerships, and to be a tool for coordinating townwide projects, policies, and programs related to open space and recreation. We have a, another project with Mar Maine Farmland Trust for a, a farm strategy. So Maine Farmland Trust is helping the town support supporting the comprehensive planning efforts through a survey targeted at farmers and interviews and the town is working through that comprehensive plan effort. And um, this will create goals surrounding farmland protection and promoting farm viability by identifying specific needs and opportunities related to local agriculture in the town of Berwick, as well as potential policy and planning strategies for the town to consider. So these are efforts that are gonna be going on over the next three to six months. If these are projects you're interested in being part of, we're just starting this process, this part of the process, you're welcome to contribute any way you feel you want to. Uh, please reach out to me at my email, townmanager at berwickmain.org, or give me a call at 207-698-1101, extension 111. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.